What's up guys, my name's Dichronic, your host on this Destiny tutorial, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my my ultimate strategy for getting Motes of Light as well as Strange Coins very, very fast, as well as just highlighting the different ways of how you get them. I'm getting a lot of people asking me like, whoa, how do you get so many Strange Coins, or whoa, you got a lot of Motes of Light, how do you buy so many exotics all the time? So in this video, I'm just going to be highlighting it. A lot of this stuff is actually uh, very common knowledge, but this is for those people that do have a question about this, as well as a few other information that you probably didn't know. So first and foremost, the strange coins the best place to get the strange coins is the weekly challenge if you guys don't know every single week there's a weekly refresh where you can do the thing called the weekly challenge you can find it up in when you're in orbit just go to the left it's the weekly challenge you have three different difficulties you can do is if you do the highest difficulty it will clear everything else and you can't do the the other ones if you do the, uh, the bottom difficulty uh, the next two difficulties reduce their amount of reward by three so the maximum per character you can get is nine screen strange coins per character and what I do is just uh, each character I each uh, do on the highest difficulty there you go 27 strange coins every single week and the fact that I don't really buy anything from Zer anymore because I have a lot of the things he does sell pretty much puts in the way that uh, you know I've been collecting a lot of strange coins I've got like over hundred and fifty of them. many of you are probably asking what about if I can't do those higher levels for the most part I recommend you doing a whatever level you can if you can do the bottom level great if you can do the second level that's awesome uh, but if you don't are you not able to do the top level there is another way and this also gives you a lot of modes of light as well well so this next strategy I'm gonna be telling you about a lot of people kind of understood the idea but after doing a lot of videos on this kind of things <laughs> I figured out that it's it's ridiculously powerful so if you guys don't know I do a video every once in a while called an engram opening videos where I open like uh, 50 to 150 engrams or something like that and I get a lot a lot of strange coins and a lot of modes of glight if you ever saw them I open up 50 engrams and I get like seven strange coins and five modes of light it's actually really really cool that's actually a high yield usually it's like I think Two, two out of every 10 is a mode of light, 2 out of every 10 is like a strange coin or something like that. Um, but they won't be that exact, but what you want to do is hop on the level 26 strike. It has to be level 26, cannot be level 24 because you do get more engrams out of that. Just do the level 26 strike until you get to the maximum number of strikes, which obviously the strikes doesn't matter because it just, uh, or not the maximum number of marks because the marks don't actually matter because you continue getting a, uh, engrams. You just keep on doing that, that strike over and over and over again, level 26. You can complete them about 10 to 15 minutes at a time unless you're doing Mars that one takes 20 25 minutes and basically just keep on doing these strikes over and over and over and over again and you'll get so so many engrams I know I was trying to reach the cap with one of my character I ended up with 48 engrams at the end of it and that's 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 insane and by the time you finish your entire uh, weekly march for the entire week, you're probably going to have around 50 engrams, and that's going to equate to about 5 strange coins and 5 motes of light for just doing these easy strikes that you're probably going to be doing for the marks anyways, to get materials, to get armor, and all that stuff. So these things all come together and really, really help you out, and it's as you don't have to do one thing to farm out one thing. You really are just doing this one thing, and it just takes care of everything, which is actually really, really cool and really worth it. Another thing is an Eris Morn bounty. If you guys don't know, there's a one Eris Morn bounty for killing a certain number of uh, majors, I believe, in a, a Nightfall. So what you want to do, if you have the Dark Below DLC, Eris, every single week, you want to do the Nightfall, pick up the bounty. She has basically rewards you three modes of light for getting 10 kills on uh, yellow health enemies in the Nightfall Strike, which is actually really, really easy. If you just do the Nightfall Strike, you probably get it on the first engagement, like the first big engagement almost every time. And that's like a really good source of uh, modes of light because if you do it on three, all three of your characters like I do, that's nine modes of light, really easy, in the bag of stuff you're already going to do anyways. Other than that, there's really not much more to it. The fact that I have a lot of strange coins is mostly for the fact that I'm not buying anything from Zer, and I just keep doing these weekly strikes every single week and just absolutely wrecking it. Uh, other than that, I guess you guys could do a strategy where you go through most of the mission on your highest level character and then switch out to your, uh, your other character that's lower level that can still get into the mission and at the last minute and just finish off the boss that way. That is an effective strategy that I used in the past and uh, it's very good for getting strange coins. But anyways, that's the video for you guys today. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like down below as well as subscribe for more Destiny content here in the future. One thing I wanted to note is I actually do some funny moments where I do on some strikes. I do some strike challenges like uh, shotguns only, no jumping, uh, only using your thumbs or something. Uh, lots of those things. I do invite subscribers uh, on my Twitter. If you want to go check out my Twitter down below, follow that. Um, I always announce messages like, hey, I need some people. I want to do some strike challenges, some funny moments, get some subs in. And uh, make sure you come join that because it's so, so much fun. And I can't wait to do more funny moments. But uh, anyways, that's the video for you guys today. I don't want to waste too much of your time <laughs> but on this video. But anyways, I've been your host, Ike Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.